really good storytellers in my life. My brother is definitely one of them, and for sure my sister. The both of them together, the best storytellers I know in my family. Hey, go away. Sorry, I'm talking about animal. Shh, stop. Um, anyways, yeah, my brother and my sister, the best storytellers. Um, the descriptiveness, they, they, they pull these stories that happened like 10 years ago, more than that. And most of the time it's embarrassing stories, but they're great storytellers. Um, yeah, the, they'll just pull things from, from things I don't even remember. Way in the back of my head, I'll like think again, I'll remember like, oh wow, yeah, I can't believe that that happened. Um, I can't believe what I did or what he, whatever, whoever did. Like it just pulls these like, these memories from the back of my head and like makes me remember like, oh, yeah, that did happen. And um, yeah, so it's cool that they're there. They always, if they get the chance, they'll 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 say the story or a memory that happened that's like embarrassing or you know, whatever. Um, so it makes me really appreciate them, and it brings people together when they do say those stories. You know, they're really good at public speaking, very good at um, being personable. So with their stories, they're able to kind of adapt it to any, like, they're able to read the room and, like, kind of adapt their stories to those, to cater to those people in that room, like a certain whatever <clears throat> kind of people. And, uh, yeah, I really, I really admire that about them. I've always, always have. I'm really bad at speaking and really bad at, like, wording my words, especially. Um, so, yeah. Definitely my brother and my sister, absolutely. Um, and someone else that, well, a public figure that I look up to a lot and I really use their influence on me and my everyday life would be uh, Dave Grohl. He's the singer for Foo Fighters uh, and former drummer for Nirvana and like them Crook Vultures and Queens of the Stone Age. He, he was in a lot of bands, but most people know him for Nirvana and Foo Fighters. And call it what you want. I know there's some Foo Fighter haters out there, but they've, they're have they definitely one of my favorite bands, for sure. Um, but more importantly, Dave Grohl. So back to him. Uh, he is known for being a great storyteller. Like, you know, he, of people that he's met and things he's done. Um, he, he just kind of seems like everybody's man, you know? He kind of connects with people. Um, which is why he's really good at what he does, I'm sure. Um, and that sort of down-to-earthness, people like are like, I think I am at least, I'm drawn to that. And it just seems like a normal dude, you know? Doesn't really, doesn't give a shit about like, fucking millions of dollars or whatever, or so-and-so. He just, just wants to do what he loves to do and, you know, be everybody's friend. And I think that's really rad, especially doing it on that level. Um, of of success and and, and um, record that his band is at. Um, so yeah, there, there's he'll he'll be playing like a show, like a sold out Wembley Stadium show or something. He'll say stories about you know early days of the Foos or you know how he met you know Paul McCartney and how he's friends with you know Paul McCartney or how um, he will like bring up like. Slash from Guns N' Roses or something on stage with them, and they'll, they'll share stories with each other about how they met, and feuds, um, controversy about their bands and stuff. And I especially love watching Dave Grohl's interviews because his he's the same like when he's telling a story, he's the same one on one guy as he is like interview an interviewee as he is like on stage in front of like fucking thousands of people. And, um, man, yeah, it's just it's super sick, man. I, I really, really respect that. I really look up to that. And he's... I don't want to say... I don't want to say he's, like, the last real, like, rocker person, but kind of is. Um, I don't say he's, so, yeah, always keep it real. Great stories, great descriptiveness. Um, really paints a really great picture when he is telling stories and... Um, whether some of them are true or not, I, I'm into it. It's got my attention, so, yeah.
that that to me makes a great storyteller inspiring descriptiveness enthusiasm and um, authenticity okay thank you